installing a remote start on this uh, diesel 2007 Ram 2500. So I've ordered my kit here. This is a FlashLogic FLR SCH5. This does work for many, many different Dodge, Chrysler, Ram, and even uh, Jeep vehicles. Uh, so you need to look up what you need for your particular vehicle. But we're going to be doing this on a Dodge Ram. It does not come with the data cable to flash it yourself. You can buy it separately and flash it uh, or download what you need as far as files and, and flash it yourself. Uh, but it's just easier if, if you purchase it from uh, wherever, eBay, Amazon, what have you. If they flash it for you, then it's ready to go. Otherwise, you can get Best Buy or some other remote or remote shops to, to do it for you. Uh, but it's just less of a hassle if it already comes flash. Your kit did not come with the, the instructions. You want to go ahead and download that on their website. It's all available. That way you can figure out what type of installation it's going to be on your vehicle and you know what wires are going to get used. We have to get into this column here to connect their uh, wiring harness. Uh, so the first thing you want to do, there's three screws at the bottom of this. You can see I've already taken them out. There's one here. Uh, and there's one here and here. What you're going to need is a T20, a long T20 Torx. So once you have those screws out, these two column pieces will separate like so. The top can just come off. And you can see this side here. That piece can slide out a little bit, just so we can access the ignition here. And that's all you're trying to do is get to this plug at the bottom here. So once you've had the have the column uh, screws out and this apart, uh, you can see this module here, right above where your key goes, and there's a plug right on the bottom of this here. Uh, inside is where the on the inside there's a clip that you need to squeeze and unplug this here. Again, that goes right at the bottom of this module. Once you have that unplugged, there is a harness that came with your remote start. So what you're going to need to do is a is the plug that's labeled VS1. That will get plugged into into the plug that we just took off, and that'll lock right in. Okay. And then on that same harness, there's a plug that's labeled DS2. And that will go right into the module where you unplugged it from. And there you go, and that'll lock right in there. So the VS2 will go into this module, and the VS1 will plug into the original connector that you disconnected from this module. So it just goes through it basically, it's just a bypass, bypass loop. Uh, and then the other end of this, this wire, it has a couple more plugs, we'll push them right down the hole here, so they'll come out at the bottom. You can pull all these wires right through the column. Okay. okay, so I have that there, and this is the plug that will plug into our flash lodge module. Button up this end of it, you can put those th three screws back at the bottom. Uh, you're pretty much done here as long as you have the wire fished through at the bottom. Okay, now that we got the top column button back up, and we'll go ahead and take the wires that we got fished through the column. You're going to take your module that your starter kit came with, and the plugs are going to be MS1 and MS2. You cannot screw this up. They only fit into fit into the same position. And see, like this one's even even the same color code. They won't fit anywhere else, so, so you cannot screw this up. Now, at this point, the vehicle should start even with this the way it is. But there are other wires. Uh, you can actually hook it up with a hood pin switch. Uh, your door switch uh, that's something a lot of people don't do but we are going to do that now you can see I've plugged in a couple extra wires that came with it into it since I want all the all the functions 
and I've gone through the directions and I've labeled some of the wires that are actually going to be used not all these wires will get used uh, but even without any of this like some of this is the wrap shutdown the horn chirp and the lights and I do want all that to work uh, but you don't have to hook up any of that so at this point we can go ahead and then and do the programming and uh, see if the actual uh, remote start works flash logic did require this module to be programmed uh, but I didn't have to do that I guess that's what that uh, pre-programming means or pre-flashing uh, it was already ready to go actually it wouldn't even allow me to follow the procedure to program this uh, so I guess I didn't have to do that I went ahead and plugged in the rest of the wires that I want to hook up uh, this would be for your um, uh, hood pin or the hood switch and I got two more one goes actually to the to the parking lights and then we have uh, the wrap shut down uh, so I do want to get those wires hooked up so for the parking lights we'll have to go through the switch and tie it into the into the parking lights so what we'll go ahead and do is remove the side cover that's on here so if you just put a screwdriver in here and undo this you might have to pull this rubber out a little bit to get this cover off uh, you should be able to pull it completely out of there uh, what that does is it gives you uh, access to the back of the back of the headlight switch itself um, once you have that access what you want to do is is unplug the connector that's going to go to the headlight switch and that's that one there so it's just a just a clip out at the top and squeeze that and pull it out um, so what you want to look for according to the directions uh, with this flash logic you want to look for a white wire with a green stripe it's a white and green wire um, looking through here there's actually two white and green wires so if you're holding the plug this way uh, on this end this top one and the bottom one on this end is white and green what you want to tie into for the parking light is this top one the bottom one's actually for uh, your cargo lamp uh, so you're looking for this wire that's right up top that's your parking light I have the white and brown wire from the M, M1, M2, the main harness connector from the from the module connected to the the top white and green wire off of the headlight switch to work the parking light. Went ahead and taped everything up so it stays nice and tight, so there's nothing moving around. I did remove this panel down here just to just to tie up the the main wire that we put in the column. Uh, and put it through with the rest of the wires so that it stays everything stays nice and tight that tight that way um, so now that we have that uh, together we can go ahead and plug this back into the headlight switch now I guess I have small enough hands where I can reach through here and work with them wires uh, otherwise you can you can pull this whole headlight switch out from the back just go ahead and push it forward and uh, that'll give you some room to work behind it I plastic tied it right to this bracket here uh, the module itself it seems to work out perfect with the length of the wire it comes with with the main harness and everything I mean you could definitely put it right under this cover here or anywhere under the column you can velcro it or what have you but the easiest way I found was here and it's a perfect position for it because the LED lights here the program buttons here all your connectors are accessible from the bottom or the top and it's nice and sturdy here and it takes up all the extra wires and everything so you don't have to tape anything up wrap shutdown function you will have to uh, tap into the door switch or the door pin switch as they call it so we'll go ahead and remove this this kick panel on the driver's side which is this whole one piece here and uh, basically just stick a screwdriver in it get the pins out and there's two pins behind this this foam insulator here there's one here one here uh, again this is the driver's kick panel um, so what you're looking for is a purple wire which all these wires go to the door uh, there's only actually or the driver's door to be exact this is the only purple wire in this wiring so that's the one you're going to be tapping into which is going to be the gray wire off of our flash logic that goes to the wrap 
shut down and that'll tie into that wire so we'll go ahead and complete that uh, we'll go ahead and tape it up and uh, close this back up and move on to the next step yeah I decided to put the the hood switch or the hood pin switch right there uh, just because I didn't want to be drilling any more holes in the truck anywhere uh, you could put it anywhere you like it should actually go in the front here somewhere uh, but again I think this is a good spot for it since there was already a hole here now this is the switch that came with their flash logic kit uh, I had to extend it a little bit just because of the position of it back here it needed to be a little longer and the wire of course does have to go through the cab so this is the black wire that's coming off of the coming off of the hood switch and this is the wire we have from our uh, flash logic module from here so we'll go ahead and connect these two wires together since everything's wrapped up we've closed everything up again the, the cover here is back on um, there are a few more things that you can do to program uh, your remote start there's some functions that you can change uh, kind of like the lock functions the lights function the only one I actually ended up changing was uh, the weight can start delay since this is a diesel truck that gives the gives the grid heater or glow plugs on some trucks to, to warm before it actually starts so I changed it to 15 seconds default is two seconds uh, other than that uh, everything's good uh, the easiest way to change is, is again you need these directions download them print them and just follow the easy directions to program any of the options that you need so the hood's closed all the doors are closed we're going to go ahead and press the lock button three times looks like it uh, it locked I hear the fuel pump going on uh, the parking lights are on this is the delay I programmed for 15 seconds Let's see if, uh, if it'll go ahead and fire up here. Could be any second now. And there it is. Parking lights are on. We'll see if it'll actually shut off. We'll press the button three times again, the lock button. This was a fairly simple, uh, simple procedure to install this flash logic. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me. Thank you for watching.